I wanted to show you something that I thought was interesting. Um, I was looking at uh, I've been I've been researching etymology, which is the breakdown of words to their roots. It works with all languages. You find out in every language, everything basically means the exact same thing. So, with that in mind, I want you to check this out. I was reading the Epsilon tracks. Uh, admittedly, you know, I haven't like done this religiously. I'm new to this. Uh, and I don't have anything figured out at all yet, but I am approaching it from a different angle, from a different angel. So I want you guys, I need input, I need help. But mainly what I wanted to point out right here is, uh, is Epsilon and Upsilon. I wanted to clear the air there. Now, in the Epsilon tracks, uh, I, didn't, I haven't heard too many people uh, mention that the names of the chapters, you have Omega, Psi, Chi, Upsilon, and Tau, right? And then Epsilon. Epsilon is the fifth Greek letter of E or E. Then you have Omega, you know, 24th letter, 23rd letter, 22. Now here's where it gets interesting. The 21st letter, 21, is missing. You go from chapter 3 is called Chi to chapter 4, Upsilon. The number 21 is missing, so it goes the 19th tau, the 20th upsilon, skips 21st letter, goes to 22 chi, 23 psi, 24 omega. Now, I'm not too sure what the relevance of that is. I'm sure it is. All is number. Um, and that's just one of the many things that I think that no one person is really just going to be able to figure this out by themselves. You need help. Uh, no one idea, no one invention was made based on one man's shoulders. Uh, we all build off of those that came before us. And uh, with that in mind, uh, you know, I need you guys to pick up this. Also, Epsilon. I wanted to get into that um, because Epsilon and Upsilon are two of the strangest letters that I find, the strangest freaking letters in all of Latin and Greek. You have Epsilon. Let me see if I find it. Here we go. Epsilon, E. Symbol for energy also. Epsilon. I've broken down Epsilon a little further, but we'll just look at that. And then you have, where is it? Upsilon. And you have Upsilon, which is right here. It's a, the equivalent of a German U. And, uh, you know, it's really hard to find information. I have information on all these characters except for Upsilon and Epsilon are really tough unless you break them down etymologically, and I'll show you that another time. But as of for right now, I'm just focusing on the etymology of Epsilon, the root words of this. Now, the term Cylon, as you see, it refers to silliness, silliness. It refers to silliness. When you break it down, the etymology of Cylon, which is e -psilon, Cylon, Epsilon, or Upsilon, either way, you're talking about the god Silenus, who is a woodland god from Greek, uh, a Greek woodlands goddess, deity, of Dionysus, the god of wine. Now, Silenus would always get drunk. Silenus were known as, as drunk followers of Dionysus, right? So now we're thinking about drunk followers of Dionysus. Sometimes has horse ears and a tail. I think of Pinocchio when Pinocchio turned into that little, uh, little thing, but um, that's really basically sheeple reference. Uh, he had made a prediction to his king. All right, now this is very important, I think. Now, Epsilon refers to Silenus, who are the followers of Dionysus. So, Cylons are Silenuses, or which that's plural, Silenai, Silenus, whatever. Uh, they follow Dionysus. They're all drunk followers. And the followers were quoted for saying, the best thing for a man is to not be born or to die as soon as possible. So that is 
Silenus, where the word Cylon comes from. Now, E and U have their own little stories in Latin, which I can get into later. Uh, but basically, after breaking down Epsilon, or Epsilon, or E Cylon, the etymology really breaks down to this. It's an unharmed or protected, they are unharmed or protected ones moving towards or up to Cilion of Dionysus to drink from tree. And that's as much as it can be broken down to. They talk a lot about, in uh, Roman lore, they talk a whole lot about how, uh, you know, that they're going to the tree, uh, there's t two trees. Uh, I think that this is important because, uh, you know, grapes make wine. Grape, grape trees uh, have also been assimilated to the fruit of knowledge, uh, being that you get drunk. Um, so that's, that's that. It, it really just deals with uh, Epsilon. I think Epsilon is a really interesting name when you break it down etymologically speaking. And uh, since it's here, I just want to, I'll leave you with this. That's it.